The formal farewells are underway for a man known wide and far for his ministry. Catholic Bishop John Snyder died last week. People have begun paying their respects in St. Augustine, where the oldest parish in America received his body this afternoon. Priests ordained by the bishop and people who just got to know him over the years are remembering him with love and respect. Did you know Bishop Snyder? Yes, he ordained me in 1989, and... Uh, He's a wonderful, wonderful man. With a lump in his throat, Father Jeff McGowan raved about the impact on his life from Bishop John Snyder. Snyder's body was received Tuesday afternoon at the Cathedral Basilica in the ancient city. The beautiful service gave way to a place for remembrance and reflection, then to the Vespers or evening prayers Tuesday night. He was a great mentor, a genuinely uh, real, down-to-earth, honest man of integrity and great, great faith. He uh, loved people. His advice to me when I became a pastor was trust God and trust God's people. And I think that's the way he lived his life. Bishop Snyder will be remembered for good works like building retirement homes and a school with his name on it. He also empowered women in their ministry, women like Sister Maureen Kelly. It was the way he treated me, and so it wasn't like I was under someone else. As a sister and as, as a woman, I could do what I was supposed to do. Whether a priest ordained by the bishop or a friend in another faith tradition, people consistently spoke about Snyder's care for others and that his love and encouragement lasted until the very end of his life last week. But the last thing he said to me was, um, Ron, be the man God called you to be. That's the way he was. His care for people, not just the clergy, but for all the people, and then people of different expressions within the Christian family of churches. Yeah, he just uh, reached out, shared fellowship and stories and mutual concerns. Just the, the love of Christ just overflowed out of the man, you know, just fabulous. <laughs> Bishop Snyder's funeral is tomorrow. And news for Jack says Ashley Spicer is going to be there for you. Funeral mass at 11 a.m. there in the historic Cathedral Basilica of St. Augustine. Committal at 2 p.m. at San Lorenzo Catholic Cemetery, which is also there in St. Augustine.